Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Jed. I am a wedding photographer based in Monterey, California. And today I want to take you on a behind the scenes journey of a wedding in Pebble Beach, California. Let's check it out. The goal of this video is to give you a behind the scenes look into what a typical wedding might look like here in this area. What I did was I attached a GoPro on top of my camera. And so you get to come along for the ride and you get to experience this journey of where I'm going, how I'm shooting, my mindset, what I'm thinking, and how I'm interacting with the couple. I'm gonna play this reel, and I will try my best to narrate over it and give you an idea of what's going on. Let's do it. Hey, hey, what's up, Jed here. I just got to the wedding venue in Pebble Beach. This is the Indian Village in Pebble Beach, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I just got here early. I'm gonna be taking a few detailed shots of the venue, get some shots of people setting up. I'm gonna meet the bride and groom later, take some solo shots of them at the beach, which would be really beautiful. So I'm super excited about it. Let's jump in, take some pictures together, and we'll capture some of the venue as we go along. Let's do it. So what was great is that I got here early and I had about 15 to 20 minutes before I was gonna meet up with the couple at the beach. So I just took some shots of the venue. I got here to our first location called Bird Rock Beach in Pebble Beach. And I'm meeting the bride and groom here a little bit early so that we can take solo shots of them before the ceremony so we don't have to worry about doing that later. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. The weather is like perfect. For I photos. know. I was this like, like, I expected this sun is and ideal. I was like, okay, this is yes. perfect yes, for photos. Be great. Cool. Well, I'm going to go bring Tyler down. Okay. Um, and then maybe I'll send someone back to, to come okay. and get you. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So this couple opted to do a first look. And so what I did was when we got to this beach, it was actually pretty crowded right when we got there. There was a lot of people around. So we walked along the beach a little bit until we found this nice little private cove. And this is where I knew for sure that I wanted them to do their first look. So they were going to do first look and exchange some private vows together before the ceremony, which I thought was really sweet. I always opt for a first look because I really love that opportunity when couples get to see each other for the first time and they get to have a moment and they have a few minutes before the, the busyness and the craziness of the day to really just enjoy one another, maybe exchange vows. And the bonus to that is that you can spend an extra 15 minutes or so with your photographer, maybe walking around the grounds to take some solo shots of each other and just get some good photos before the ceremony even happens. It was super sweet. We had her come down, tap him on the shoulder. He turned around, give her a big hug and a kiss. And they just had a beautiful moment. So my goal during this time is to be as silent and in the background as possible. What I don't want to do is interrupt their moment and interrupt their time. And so I put my camera on silent and I just uh, was trying to shoot as ninja as possible. After they exchanged private vows, we walked along the beach a little bit. We found this really cool rock cove. And so we took some photos by the rocks. I had them interact with each other and do different poses and different prompts. We had a good amount of time before the ceremony started. And so what I did was grab her flowers. I grabbed some of the details and I went over to the ceremony area just to capture some detail shots. I mean, it was just a beautiful, very private, family and friends oriented small wedding ceremony. I just loved it. It was tucked in the trees in this beautiful grove and it was just a really special, intimate time. And these are one of my favorite types of weddings because I feel like it's, it's all about the relationships, it's all about the chemistry, it's all about the family being there um, to celebrate. And, um, you know, they weren't focused on doing too much of a huge production, they just wanted them to, to get married and just share that time with friends and family. So I thought that was really special. There was a moment here in the ceremony where I could see dad and mom holding hands and that's one thing to note. As a photographer, you want to keep one eye on what the bride and groom are doing, but then you also want to keep an eye on what the crowd is doing because you can capture all those natural reactions. You can capture laughs and smiles and people crying. And I thought the hand holding was a really special time. So I made sure to capture that. Bonus tip, I always encourage couples to do their first kiss at the ceremony and then as they walk down the aisle to stop 
and do another kiss so that you can capture some really cool shots of them at the base of the aisle, which I think always turn out pretty cool. Family shots are always great. So I worked with the bride a lot on the family shoot and she was so good to provide me with a very detailed shot list. And I always appreciate that as a photographer because I feel like I have a really strong roadmap on how to shoot, who to shoot, and all the different combinations that the bride wants. And so making sure I capture all of those baseline shots is a must and then anything on top of that is just a bonus. So we went into the reception area, which was pretty fun. They had some lawn games, cornhole, ladder golf, all this kind of fun stuff. They opted to do something a little bit untraditional, which I thought was kind of fun. Instead of doing a first dance, uh, they all just played like a private game of ladder golf together, which I thought was pretty cool. So the bride and groom played a game of ladder golf. So it was just kind of a fun, different way for them to interact. So I was there and I was just able to really just kind of help capture all those candid moments, all those candid interactions with them. That's what I love to do, you know? My favorite part about photography is just being there to capture those moments that you don't even know are happening. And that way, when you look back on your photos, you know, five, 10 years from now, you're like, oh, I didn't even know that was happening. And you have a picture of it. So, hey, if you found this video to be helpful, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. That really helps me out. And, you know, my whole goal is just to provide you with some information and some tips on wedding photography and just to give you some insight into what I do. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.